So I know a lot of you guys are probably excited. You grabbed yourself a PlayStation 5, but did you know there are a lot of tips and tricks that you might not know that the PlayStation can do? Well, let's talk about a few of them. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is how to customize your dashboard. Now to pull up your dashboard, all you have to do is tap on the PlayStation button on your controller once, and then you'll get this dashboard that pops up right here. But do you see all these icons right here? They can be customized. All you need to do is hit the option button. So that's gonna be the button next to your square and triangle right above it. And then you can actually customize the icons in here. Now you can pick four out of seven different icons to customize, but these are gonna be a quick way for you to get to these quick and fast. So it's really up to you, but the option is there to customize that. So I always think being able to customize things on your PlayStation is always better than not being able to. The next thing we're gonna get into is capturing trophies. Did you know that your PlayStation automatically captures the trophies? You need to go to the settings, then go down to capture and broadcast. And if you go all the way down to where it says trophies, you can turn this off. Now, the reason why I would recommend turning it off is if you guys download a lot of games like me, this might actually take up a lot of your space. Now, if you do want to keep them on, it's also a great feature to remember those memories of, you know, when you got certain trophies, if you want to show your friends, your family members, hey, I got this trophy. But if you go to console storage and you look at where your um, media gallery is, you'll see that all your trophies are in there. And you got to think about this. 15 seconds of video, you start adding this up over time, that'll probably eat into a chunk of your game this, that you can save, right, and save data. So changing that is easy. Captures and broadcasts, down the trophies, and then go all the way, all you have to do is click either one of these. I usually have mine off, but if you do wanna have it off and you wanna change the duration of that trophy because you think it's a cool feature, you can actually customize it from 15 seconds to 30 seconds. So really up to you. I personally have mine off because I do download a lot of games and one terabyte really goes fast on the PlayStation 5. Now, while we're in the settings tab, just head up to notifications. And the notifications, you guys can fully customize this any way you guys want. Now, I personally hate having any notifications on while I'm playing the game. So I don't really like having that on. But if you do like having some types of notifications on, like when you get invites from friends or you get um, a message from a friend, well, you can actually fully customize that to just get those invites from friends and then turn everything else off. Or if you only want things on when you're watching videos or when you're doing, or if you're streaming and having a live broadcast straight from your PlayStation 5, well, you can fully customize that. And not only that, you can fully customize per each friend. So if there's you have a really good friend that you really want to get their messages from and you really care that they're sending you messages, well, you can turn on those notifications just for that one friend. So there are a lot of different customizations that you guys can do in the notifications tab, and I highly recommend you guys going in there and adjusting it to your liking. And while we're still in settings, did you know game presets was a setting we could adjust? All you have to do is head to save data and game app settings go down to game presets and then some of you guys might ask well what is game presets well if you go to difficulty you can change the game difficulty that your game always launches whenever you start a new game or start a game that you played so you can change that and go from the easiest all the way to the hardest difficulty now what really is important about the game presets is if you're trying to get that 120 hertz refresh rate or not so performance mode and resolution mode Performance mode is the mode that will allow you to get 120 hertz refresh rate on whether 1080p or 4K if you have HDMI 2.1 compatible TV and you plug it into your PlayStation 5. So performance mode, remember that's for the speed. Resolution is for that quality in visuals. Another game preset that I really enjoy changing is subtitles. Since I do stream and record a lot, I do like having those on for my viewers who like watching and reading at the same time. But yeah, this is where you guys can change that on and off and always have subtitles on or always have them off when you start a game. Since we're still in settings, head over to accessories. And in that, there is a tab for controllers. Did you know that you could adjust the intensity on the vibration of your controller? You can either have a medium, weak, turn it off. And you can also do the same thing with the trigger effective intensity. You can put that on medium, weak, or off. So that will affect your dual sense and how strong you feel it. And you can also, a lot of times, change this in game on almost every single PlayStation 5 game you play. Did you know that the PlayStation 5 has a quick load feature? 
if you hit the dashboard when you're in any game, like we're right here in Call of Duty Black Ops, we hit the PlayStation button once, the dashboard comes up. This will pull up your trophies, right? But if you notice, you can hit in progress and you can hit join. And what this is going to do is it will launch us right into the last moment we left off. So we currently are in the CIA safe house of the campaign of Black Ops Cold War, right? So if I were to hit resume, instead of going into the menu, having to hit campaign, select the mission, this will drop me right back into this the last awesome. known point I was at, lead, which is amazing. And not only that, not only this quick feature, did you notice that you can literally hop from game to game without closing the current game you're in? So instead of closing out Cold War, I could just load up the Division 2. And the same thing when I load up the Division 2, I can click on Spider-Man and join it. You do not have to close the game like you used to. So that is a really cool feature now available on the PlayStation 5. Another really cool feature that came to the PlayStation 5 is your game library. Now you do not have to go into the PlayStation Store app anymore. You just tab all the way over and at the far right hand corner, you'll see game library and it'll have every single game you currently own what games you have installed, what games are from PlayStation Plus, what games are from PlayStation Now. So it's actually a really cool feature that they added and I love how this new UI works for the PlayStation 5. If you saved any data from PlayStation 4 or if you're saving any data from PlayStation 5 and you wanna retrieve that data, you need to go into the save data and game app settings in your settings tab and you should see your cloud storage space. So if you have any of those saved data games from PlayStation 4, hit this cloud storage and then all you have to do is click on it and you can choose what game you want to download and then you should have all your game save files that you uploaded from your PlayStation 4. Another really cool feature is the create button. Now that is going to be the top left button above your D-pad and you can customize how this works, how this capture button works. By default, if you press it once, it will display the create controls. If you press and hold, it takes a screenshot. If you press twice, it saves a video clip of your recent gameplay. And you can customize how long this recent gameplay is recorded, 15 seconds all the way up to one hour. Now, if you map this, you can change this to easy screenshots, easy video clips. And what this does is it changes when you press it once, when you press and hold, or when you press it twice for each one. So a really cool way, if you guys are into capturing some of your gameplay and you wanna save that gameplay, is use that create button and customize how it works. Did you know PlayStation 5 actually has a mute button on your controller to mute all sound, not just your mic? If you tap it once, it will mute your mic, but if you hold it, it will mute the in-game sound. So you have no in-game sound, no surround sound. So if you get a phone call, you'll see this little button blinking right on your PlayStation. You know it's muted. You can pick up your phone. And then when you want to get back in the game, just tap it again and you have sound. But you can mute it on, off, on, off. So easy to do. Pretty cool feature they added to the PlayStation 5 controller. Now, I know a lot of people hate having that their mic is always on on their controller. Well, there is actually a setting for that. All you have to do is go to sound in the settings tab. You can go to where it says microphone status when logged in, and you can always just have that off. And it's an easy way for you guys to not have to worry about it. So these are 10 settings and features that you guys can change to improve your experience while using the PlayStation 5. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up. It's very much appreciated. But I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, nothing but skills is out.